to being a kick-ass young mom. She also spoke at TEDx Fremont East Women in 2012 about focusing on shifting our mindset to something more positive when discussing the topic of teen motherhood. This year, she will publish a full-length book on the subject. Please welcome Danielle Ford. Okay, I'm kind of tall. Um, I got pregnant when I was 17, and it was really tough. I definitely wasn't focused on myself. I wasn't thinking about, you know, what am I going to do with my life? Can I go after my big dreams? It was literally, am I going to be with this guy for the rest of my life? How am I going to get through school? Will I ever be able to go to college? My parents are super mad at me. And <laughs> so many things I was um, really concerned about. And I didn't give myself the kind of attention that I really needed at that time. There was a lot of drama that followed in the next few years, but after getting out of that, um, and I actually took some time to work on myself, I started becoming really interested in the online world and more specifically, online marketing. I knew that I wanted to do something that was world-changing, that would make a difference, and I knew that my, I wanted my platform to be the internet. So after a lot of thought work, it went just right back to, of course, Young Moms. And that's why I decided to start Young Moms Club. And Young Moms Club, even though Nevada and Las Vegas happens to have the largest amount of teen moms in the country, we actually so we have young moms ages 13 uh, up from around the globe. We talk to girls from you know Africa and Australia, of course a lot of Americans as well, but. It's just uh, very humbling the amount of people I've been able to reach in a short amount of time. And it's not just me, I have a team of young moms who I also mentor and teach these kind of internet skills. But to tell you a little bit more about what we do, we don't talk anything about parenting. The only type of uh, parenting education that our website offers is from other young moms themselves. We bring them on as guest bloggers and. We do uh, a spotlight series. We spotlight girls who are in the situation that I was in when I was 17 or 19, in abusive relationships and wondering how they're gonna pay the rent next month. We don't necessarily always showcase uh, success stories because I feel it's very important to spotlight and showcase young moms as they are, to tell them that they're good enough just like they are right now. I really believe that if a young mom is able to get through all of those problems that she's dealing with at a young age, she's going to come out like a badass. And I really, my mission is to encourage people to treat young moms like for the potential that they have and not the situation that they're in. It's easy to see a young mom with a baby on her hip. <laughs> With a baby on her head, and you're, you look at her and you're thinking like, oh my gosh, she ruined her life, what is she going to do? And I, I actually think that sometimes too when I see young moms, and um, it's kind of a social stigma that's placed upon them. But if we can really look at a young mom and see her for the power that she has... <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop really quick and just say that um, my children wanted to make sure that I mentioned them. So... Here's my mini me right in the front. <laughs> She's the reason Young Moms Club started. Um, anyway, go last track. Um, so basically, everything that we do is about raising confidence. I try to um, empower these girls. They come to me with questions about parenting questions, financial questions, and it always goes back to like, okay, what do you want to do? Let's figure that out. We talk about financial literacy. We talk about goal setting, we talk about self-care. Instead of giving formula, we give Victoria's Secret gift cards. Instead of giving diapers, we give you know, coaching lessons and money lessons. So that's really important to me. In the next year, um, one thing I really want to focus on is publishing my book that goes through those six pillars of what I believe uh, young moms need to know to be able to come out on top. With that book, 
Um, there's going to be the ability for people to run uh, teen mom meetup groups in their living rooms if they want to by going through that book in the workbook. Another thing I would love to start in uh, Las Vegas, like I said, we don't have a very local reach here. That's because I don't allow myself to because I'm very involved in my kids' lives. I try to be. Uh, but I really want to start um, some teen mom community baby showers and make them awesome. <laughs> So <laughs> keep a lookout for that because um, I will be looking for help in that way. And the only thing, everyone started their speech with what they're thankful for. And I'm just very grateful to have the help that I did. Many, I, I look at my story and I think, wow, it's terrible. And I, it was so hard and I had this you know, relationship and had to work two jobs, three jobs sometimes. But many of these girls don't have any family. I was very fortunate to have a very strong, supportive family to help me through it. Uh, sisters, they're just amazing. Uh, so my mom and my sister are here in the audience, and I just wouldn't do, I wouldn't be anywhere without them. I don't even know where I'd be. Also, my boyfriend is my rock. There's times when I'm up at three in the morning crying because I just filmed videos for six hours and none of the sound works, and you know he has to like talk me down out of my depression. Poor guy. Um, my team, I have an amazing team of young moms who work for very little pay, but they have the same passion that I have and they have the same experience as me, so they are just amazing. Um, and last of all, besides the amazing women and community that we have here in Vegas, I just have to thank my children. They drive me crazy, but I love them. And they are just the reason that I do everything in the whole world and they, I think, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to change the world, but I know that they will. So, thank you. President of Product.